Dear Corsair, for the love of all that is holy, fix IQ. What's going on guys? It's Jake here and today we're going to be talking about my computer and why Corsair is killing it. Let's start at the beginning. I built my first PC, that guy right there, towards the end of October of 2019. And it didn't happen immediately, but every so often my computer screen would go completely black, my fans would go up 200%, and nothing I could do would stop it. I couldn't even hold down the power button to turn it off. The only thing I could do was flip the switch on the power supply to completely cut the power to it. But once I restart, back to normal like nothing ever happened. And it didn't matter what I was doing, whether I was sitting there idle or whether I was on the lock screen, whether I was playing Rocket League. I could even be playing a graphically intensive game. It was all the same. It just was randomly timed and there was no way to since it come in, there was no way to stop it. I had absolutely no control of the random shutoffs. It didn't always happen, but it didn't matter why or what I was doing. This went on for months. I swapped power supplies because I thought maybe I don't have enough watts for this upgrade. Nope. I swapped hard drives. That didn't fix it. I changed settings in my hardware and software. Nothing. I monitored temps and upped the fan speeds even though there was really no temperature rise. If anything, the temps were low. Still didn't do anything. I updated drivers, downgraded to old drivers. I completely wiped all the drivers from my computer and reinstalled the new ones. Nothing would fix this thing. And one of the biggest problems to the whole problem is I couldn't emulate it. There was no surefire way for me to do something and it would shut off. It was just completely random. In the process of doing all these different things, I broke one of my monitors on accident when I was trying to move my PC. After numerous Google searches, articles, forums, threads, and failed attempts, I finally found it. The big, nasty, wretched thing that was tearing my PC apart was IQ. That one single app for RGB lighting was forcing my computer to shut down and ramp up the speeds to 100% with only one way to turn it off by cutting the power completely. In the fix, all I did was uninstall. And yeah, I still have the fancy lighting going with it completely uninstalled. I just can't change the colors and stuff unless I download it again. So $200, a new power supply, and a new monitor later, I finally fixed it by uninstalling a single free app made by one of the biggest computer component companies in the world. So my message to you is if you have IQ on your computer, for the love of God, delete every single trace of that app from your computer right now. If you ever want to change the lighting, download it quickly, change it, delete it. Don't have it on your computer. Do not keep it on your computer. Until this thing is fixed, until Corsair actually gets off their butt and fixes this, do not have it on your computer. I'm going to try and reach Corsair because I genuinely love their products. Their RAM looks super cool and I know they have a lot of cool products that work very well. But when the software for your hardware is messing with people's computers that they've put a lot of money into, that's not okay. So right now I can't recommend buying anything from Corsair, let alone downloading anything for them. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, listen to Brittany. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and click the bell because why not? Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had this problem or anything similar. And uh, I hope this fixes it for you if you have done it yourself. Also, Corsair, if you're seeing this, tweet me, DM me, email me, comment down below, something. Let's get into contact because I will give you all the information that you need to try and fix this. I know I was a little mean, but I'm on your side. I want to see this fixed because I am a customer. <laughs> 
and uh, I want to be happy with my product. But that's it for now, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, guys.